So you might be in a position where for some reason you are continuing trying to log into Snapchat and you might be getting this little error due to repeated failed login attempts or other unusual activity, whatever this thing said. And the reason why this ends up happening for the most part is because you were trying to log into your Snapchat account and you might not even be able to, you know, actually fully go into Snapchat because your account is completely breaked right now. That's kind of the best way to put it. So what this means is basically you have tried too many times to go ahead and log into your Snapchat account. So the first thing I recommend doing is looking at your username and looking at your password. So just look at both of these options and just make sure you're typing in your username and your password correctly. You will have to wait a little bit of time. So what this error basically says is like you'll have to whatever. You can see it says it's temporarily disabled. So it's not like a forever thing. It's only going to be there temporarily. You can probably check back in like another hour or two and it's probably going to be fine. So what I would recommend doing before you type in your username and password again, just go through and make sure you're typing in your username and your password correctly. You will not believe how many times people just end up ruining their account. It's, it's not ruining your account. Your account is still there. You will just have to go ahead and either if you don't remember the username or if you don't remember the password, you can also type in your email. So type in the email associated with your account and type in your password, and that is basically all you have to do. Now, if you forgot your password, then go and click on forgot password right here, and you have two different options of how you can recover your account. You can either recover via phone number or you can recover via email. So again, what I recommend doing here is clicking on possibly just, you know, actually change your password via phone number or changing via email. And once you have both those things set up, that is all you have to do. They're going to go and send you a link and you can go ahead and reset your password that way. And that is all you're going to have to do. It's very basic. It doesn't take too much time. And that is pretty much the only way to do it. So I wouldn't recommend going through and just constantly just messing up your account by typing in the wrong password or username, but that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.